Today we're going into Target and we're going to take a look at a lot of their early Black Friday deals that they have going on. They're doing the same thing as they did last year where they have specific Black Friday deals every week leading up to the official Black Friday. I took a sneak peek at the deals that they have going on for November 7th through the 13th. I also am a former employee of Target. I used to actually work part-time on their Black Friday special teams. So I will let you know any Black Friday secrets, deals, things that they typically do as I'm walking through the store. We'll look at what they have in stock for Christmas, the holidays. Basically, it's just a shopping preview and what to expect in the month of November. Also want to note, if you are a hero and served in our military, Target has 10% off two store-wide entire purchases, and it's 10% on top of all the deals that we're going to talk about today. So let's get to shopping. Starting off in the home area, we have their flannel sheet sets for the holidays. These typically go about 40% off on the actual week of Black Friday. Same with the heated throws. Last year, these weren't actually on sale for Black Friday from what I remember, but previous years, they'd always been on some sort of special sale. I have actually been eyeing some heated throws for myself. I'm adding it to my Christmas list. I've looked at a variety of stores and I think I like these ones the most. I specifically want to add this gray one to my list. Moving back into the small appliances, I have a target hack for you. Around the holidays or right before you know a big sale is coming up, keep an eye on their end caps. The end caps typically have these super sale items from the circular on them and stores will put them there at least a few days in advance at minimum. We can see this in action now. This Keurig is going to be $20 off starting November 7th, and it is sitting right here next to this Power XL dual basket air fryer, which is also on sale in the circular. It shows that it's going to be 50% off, so it's going to be on sale for only $100. I don't see any sales going on for next week for any of the Ninja Foodie brand items, but keep your eyes peeled for the weeks following. And then they already have the KitchenAid mixers set up on an end cap because they always have them on super sale for Black Friday. Last year, they were $200 off. I don't see it on any of the end caps here, but I feel like it's worth calling out another Power XL item that's going to be on sale next week for the holiday best deals days is this Power XL grill and air fryer combo for $90 off. Next, we are moving to all the decor items. There really isn't a lot of the Christmas decor right up front in the store. I'm not sure if it's because of all the supply chain issues going on in the world if they haven't gotten them all in or if it's just related to the fact that usually their huge Christmas shop is in the way, way, way back of the store for seasonal and maybe a lot of the decor is sitting back there. But for now, this is what we have in the very front of the store. I'll be honest, I, I feel like Target has done better in terms of Christmas decor than what I am seeing here. There's definitely some cute items, but there are some items as I'm looking at them, I'm like, is, is this Christmas or is this just a random little arrowhead or spearhead of some sort? I don't know, who am I to judge? Maybe when we get back to the seasonal section in the back of the store, all the cute Christmas stuff will be there. But till we get there, we have to look at all the new hearth and hand holiday items. I'm sure there's gonna be so much cute Christmas stuff in here. Starting off with this pillow. This is, I like this pillow. It has a zipper on the cover so that it can be washable, used for many Christmases to come. This metal advent calendar is really cute. It has a magnetic wreath that you can move around as the days progress throughout December. I think this section just recently set at my store because it is very in stock. They have some new candle scents for the season. It smells so good. Bergamot spice is my favorite. They also have this three pack candle that's themed for the holidays. One says love, one's peace, and one is joy. If you wanna up your cookie decorating game for $17, they have these snowflake cookie stamps. There is new serveware, chargers, plates that have the green and red Christmas theme going on. There are some mixing bowls. They come in a three pack and they have a red and I think it's a navy blue stripe on the side and they are retailing for about $40. 
If your grandma or mom haven't already knit you about a thousand pot holders or oven mitts, then you can buy these for about $9. Pull everything together with a new tablecloth, then they have a whole bunch of new different mugs to choose from. And then last in this section, they have some greenery, another advent calendar, and then I thought this was a really cute activity idea for the family Letters to Santa set for about $10. As I was walking over to the next section, I passed their gift cards here and it just made me think of the fact that last year for Black Friday, they had a deal where you could buy $100 in Apple gift cards and then get a $20 Target gift card in return. I actually don't see the Apple gift cards here, but I'm really hoping they repeat that deal for this next year. Now we are in the shoe section and starting November 11th and going till the 13th on Target Circle, they're going to have a coupon for 20% off apparel and shoes for the family. And this is a great deal. And honestly, I would not even wait till that date to get what you want because Targets have been struggling to keep certain categories in stock. And I've noticed specifically specifically kids and certain women's clothing is constantly selling out or it's just not getting backfilled. Shelves are pretty empty most of the time. My store just finally got some stock in today, so I jumped on filming this video, but even today when I went to the kids section, there is so little inventory. So what I am doing today, because my kids desperately need the next size up in clothes, is I'm buying whatever I can find in their size today and I'm keeping my receipt in my purse and I'm going to take advantage of their holiday price match and get my 20% savings back later. If you're not sure what the holiday price match is, I'll fill you in right now. Starting all the way back from October 10th of this year, if you purchased an item in store or online and the price went lower at Target on or before December 24th of this year, you can bring in your receipt to guest services and they will credit you the difference. So with the shortages going on, in my head, I'm not waiting for things to sell out, especially because I'm not sure with all the issues going on at the ports and everything, how long it's going to take for any stock to come in. So I'm buying now and then I'm just using the holiday price match and getting my money back a little bit later and I'm keeping all my receipts in my purse for this. Normally they have such a cute holiday display right here with tons of inventory and they don't have anything sadly. I was checking the store right now to see if they had a 5T left in this super adorable boys rain jacket. I currently have two at my house right now that are 5T but I have three boys that all wear 5T and they're all fighting over the two that we have. Unfortunately, this store doesn't have any and last time I checked online, it was out of stock, but it looks like it's in stock now. So I'm gonna buy it. I'll have that one linked below too, along with tons of other things from this video. I'm also going to get each of my boys one of these super warm three-in-one all-weather jackets. They're $40 right now as I'm filming, but they should be 20% off when everything is on sale next week as it does not show that outerwear is excluded and it also does not say that active wear is excluded so I am probably going to buy myself some new active wear because I just love lounging around and wearing sweatpants, athleisure around my house. I have this right now in the top and bottom. It's so cute, so comfortable. I talk about it all the time because it's my favorite. I might even buy a second one, even in the same colorway, just cause when one's being washed, I want another available. <laughs> Walking by the sleepwear and intimates right now, these are excluded from the 20% off next week. However, family sleepwear is something that is typically on sale for Black Friday, so just get it then. Another item that is typically on sale for Black Friday, at least it was last year and the year before, are Graco car seats. So if you are in the market for a car seat, you can either get it now and then just price match later. However, it's select car seats that were about 50% off last year. So you may want to wait to see specifically what car seats are going to be on sale. But last year, these were the big baby sale items in the car seat category. And no one's asking for this video, but I get asked this 
this all the time because I have three car seats fit across my car. What car seats do I recommend? I recommend the Graco Slim Fit over here. And then this is actually what I have. They changed the name ever so slightly from when I bought it, but it looks absolutely identical and it's the same price as what I paid. So I'll link these two down below if you're interested in fitting three car seats across. These are on the narrower side. Back to the best deals days going on starting November 7th though, they have travel systems on sale. So a travel system, if you're not super sure, but you're expecting a baby, a travel system is basically a car seat and stroller combo in one where the car seat clicks into the stroller nicely. They have those going on sale from the November 7th to 13th timeframe. Of the select styles that they have going on sale, I personally would recommend the Chico options here. Last baby category we're going to talk about for November deals are baby monitors. So last year in the Black Friday ad and the year prior, they had these VTech dual camera baby monitor options available for 50% off along with some other VTech options. They also had the Owlet Smart Sock for $75 off last year, and I personally think that that's a great deal and worth it. I had one for my third child. Moving over to vacuums, I would personally wait on this one, unless you're going to do the price match, of course, and get this on Black Friday, the actual week of Black Friday or Black Friday day. There are some vacuum deals in the circular for next week starting November 7th, but they don't look that deep of cuts compared to what you'll probably be able to get come Black Friday. As I was walking by the men's section, I just want to point out how very, very in stock the men's section is. I don't think any dudes have gone out shopping yet prior to Black Friday. There is so much inventory. They are ready for people, for the men to come out and start shopping. In comparison, kids especially, but women's also is just struggling to keep anything on the shelves because all the moms out there, as always, are super prepared. They're going out buying stuff just in case there are more port shortages. Meanwhile, the men just don't even care. And as a result, they actually have stuff in stores for the guys. Moving back to toys, the only thing I really want to call out here is that Starting next week, they're going to have another cartwheel offer for 25% off a single toy or kids book. While that is a nice coupon for a single toy, they don't seem to have any other sales or deals starting next week on toys except for maybe the random $5 off here, 10% off there, nothing notable. If you want the big 30, 40, 50% off any specific toy deals, you're going to have to wait for actual Black Friday to see those types of sales. Anyone else's kids love Ryan's World? I, I don't understand why my kids want to watch Ryan so bad, but they really like that kid. So I might be getting a couple Ryan toys this year. I know some parents don't let their kids watch Ryan toys review, but for me, at least, as long as they're the science videos, I'm fine with my kids watching them. We have made it to the back seasonal section of the store, and of course, it is full of Christmas stuff. There's tons of different wrapping papers to choose from, and something that I thought was actually a very good deal are these cards that they have in packs of anywhere from 16 to 10 from Hallmark and Minted. For $15, the minted ones are the most expensive and you only get 10 in a pack, but they do look really nice. If you think about the cards at Dollar Tree, because I often buy cards at Dollar Tree, the nice cards at Dollar Tree are a dollar a piece. You can also get them, you know, in packs of eight for a dollar, but they're not really that high of quality, or you can get two for a dollar and those ones are a step down. But anyways, the point I am trying to make is the minted ones are technically cheaper than a dollar a piece and they are nicer in my opinion than the Dollar Tree dollar nice cards. So I, I do think that that is a good deal if you like those styles. They also here at Target have 40 holiday card assortments for $15. So that's a really good deal. I definitely think if you are going to make holiday cards and they're not going to be printed with a picture on it, these are great values. Then they have a variety of stars to go on top of your tree. 
They have the bougie individual ornaments for $3 a piece. I'm I'm not a $3 ornament girl. I buy the huge packs for like $15. Some of the pillows and greenery that seem to be missing from the front of the store is here in the back. We have some basic deck pillows for $10 a piece. And then on the back side of this, there was some greenery and wreaths. For stockings, they made shopping really easy. Every single stocking option on this entire wall is $15. Then there was an aisle of decor, and this is the decor that I feel like is more my style of decor. I especially like the tree options they have at the bottom more than what was up front. I like those faux frosted trees there, and then they have all the goodies. This aisle was pretty out of stock, actually. They have the Walker's cookies that I'm pretty sure they made a batch of those like 100 years ago, and they still cycle the same ones through. At least that's what it tastes like. But I love those stale cookies. And then the Ferrero Collection chocolates. Those are a staple every Christmas. I especially like this giant ball Ferrero for $5.50. And then just pointing out the end cap thing again. They have this Power XL air fryer here both end caps are full one's a seven quart one's a five quart this five quart one is already on sale for $69.99 but it's going to be $59.99 according to the ad starting November 7th moving to makeup there's going to be a 10% off select Revlon Winky Lux ELF and CoverGirl makeup starting November 7th I personally really like the Winky Lux brand my favorite items I really like this cream blush. It's so pretty in the flower shape. Their pH balancing lip gloss and lip balm I really like. I wear this lip gloss almost every single day in the color raspberry. I'll have that linked below for sure. I also really like their eyeshadow palettes, their bronzers. I, I, I'm trying not to buy so much makeup, so I'm not buying anything here. I just know because I've tried them in the past that I like these items. Winky Lux makeup is some of the more expensive makeup at Target, but I feel like you're paying the extra price for a reason. Now we're moving to some of the supplements they have in the beauty section. Now these aren't going to be on sale next week, and to my knowledge, it's not typically something that's on sale around Black Friday either, but these Vital Proteins gummies look new I've never seen these before so I'm kind of tempted to try it especially this beauty one specifically because I just want my hair to grow back and look like it did before I had babies so if there's a pill that can help me with that I want to try to find it so it's I feel like it's worth a try for $15. Comment below if you have any other suggestions, but for now, I'm gonna try this. Passing accessories right now to get to women's clothing. Accessories is excluded from the 20% off coupon that is going down starting the 7th. And for clothing, it looks like Levi's is actually also excluded. This section is the Levi's right here. I have been wanting to splurge and buy myself this Levi's denim jacket that has the Sherpa around the neck, but it's about $100 and I just don't really feel like spending $100 on a jean jacket. These chunky sweaters will be 20% off next week. I really like that melon color there, but... Actually, I think these ones are more my style over here. I kind of like the wide V neck of this universal thread sweater here. I'm pulling out the blue one right now, but I think I'm going to buy this melon one right now and just get my 20% back next week when it is on sale. They also have zip-up sweaters like this that I think are really cute. What I like in general about all of Target sweaters for the most part in the more casual section is most of them have casual joggers to go along with it that match. Like these here, these quilted sweaters come with matching quilted joggers on the bottom. And I just really like the whole matching sweatsuit thing because I'm just lounging around my house most of the time. So I really like the matching sweat sets. If I didn't have children who somehow always have dirty hands and they rub their hands on me like I'm a napkin, I would totally buy this. But it's just too light and would definitely get stained and damaged real fast. Ooh, I really like these Sherpa jackets too. 
I don't know which one I prefer. I kind of am gravitating towards this white one, but again, human napkin for my kids. I'm not sure if I can make that work. I'll pass for now and check out and meet you at my car. I hope this video was helpful for you and gets you a little bit more prepared for some of the deals that are coming up this next week and for Black Friday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos floating over the screen at this point. I also do Costco shop with me's. I was a former employee there as well, so I have some tips and tricks for that store. If you want any other shop with me's, let me know in the comments below where you want me to go. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.